Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're just going to jump in and start with our pre-prom prep. So for me, anytime I have an event to go to, I always use the same routine. I use my whitening lightning dial a smile, a little bit of self tanner for million dollar tan, and some kind of facial mask. We can go with a moisturizing mask, but for this scenario, I'm gonna go with a clarifying mask to just pull any impurities out of my face and make sure it is picture perfect ready. First thing I'm gonna do is whiten my teeth, and I'm gonna use this little scrubby that the Dial a Smile kit comes with to just dry out my teeth. Then taking our syringe filled with gel, I'm gonna squeeze it into this little cup and paint it on my teeth. I usually just apply things with my fingers, but I wanted to show you guys the proper way to apply it. Next, we're just gonna take our handy dandy blue light, pop it in, and we're gonna leave it in for about 20 minutes or so. Mm -hmm. Next, we're gonna pull down our straps and we look like we're naked, but we're not, I swear, because we're gonna do a little bit of tanning. And for this, I'm gonna use my Million Dollar Tan Cabana Tan. You guys know that I love the Tan Icon Extreme, where you spray it on the little paintbrush thingy and apply it, but the Cabana Tan is great because it's a lotion form and it's super, super easy to apply if you feel like the Tan Icon is a little difficult. This one is a no-brainer, so this is good to go. And after you apply it, you wanna make sure that you wash your hands really good. So we're moving straight on to our face mask, and for this I'm using my Glam Glow Clarifying Treatment, and I'm just gonna apply it to my problematic areas like my cheeks, my chin, and my forehead, and we're gonna leave this bad boy on for about 10 minutes. <laughs> first because we're gonna set it. So I'm gonna go ahead and clip in my 260 grams of belly me hair. I know it looks crazy at first. I'm gonna use a one and quarter inch curling iron and you're gonna need a few of these clips. So I'm just gonna section off my hair, pin it all up on top, and then we are going to first brush our hair out. I'm just getting way ahead of myself in this voiceover. <laughs> brush your hair out so there's no knots, and then we're gonna work in about one inch sections of hair, and we're just gonna curl everything under the old fashioned way. So you're just going to start your curl at the top of your head, hold it there for a second so that the curl is nice and strong, pull it down, roll it up, and you're gonna repeat this whole process until you have no hair left to pull through your iron. I know that sounds a little difficult but just watch what I'm doing it's really easy and just gives you a really strong hold curl that isn't gonna go anywhere and by us pinning them it's gonna make our curl last even longer so just go ahead and release your curl into your hand be careful because it will be hot I'm gonna roll it back as close as I can to my head like I said the curls will be hot and I'm just going to pin it in place I'm gonna repeat the process just to show you guys one more time so that you can catch it. So instead of me talking over it, I'll just let you watch. the bottom of your hair pin it should look like this I'm just using a shaping hairspray which is a really light hold hairspray choking on it clearly um, to keep everything nice and tight so for the top of our head we're just going to do the same thing I'm just going to part my hair as I'm going to wear it and then curl the top sections the exact same way everything with the shaping hairspray which again is just a light hold hairspray so I am overly spraying my hair but it's okay because this hairspray is not crunchy at all and now we're moving straight on to makeup 
starting with our primer, I'm just going to apply this all over my face. I'm using Benefit Pore Professional because you know I love it. Taking my brow bar to go, I'm going to pin my brows down and then fill them in. I will link my full eyebrow tutorial in the bottom because this video is long enough and we don't have any time to go into an in-depth brow tutorial. So after our brows are finished, I usually apply my foundation, but today we're gonna work on our eyes first. So I'm just applying a primer, and I'm going to highlight my brow bones first. I am using Makeup Geek's Ice Queen, which is like my all time favorite highlight. I use it like all the time, if you guys watch my videos. <laughs> Next, with the Lorac Pro Palette, I'm going to use the color Taupe, but any light brown, medium brown color will work here, and we're going to apply this right into our crease. Next, I'm going to use this Molten Metal Duo from Sleek Cosmetics, and this is just a cream gold base that I'm applying to the lids of my eyes. Just to have a little, you know, extra something going on underneath there. And then I'm going to use this pigment from Makeup Geek and it's called New Year's Eve. And let me just say that the camera does this no justice. It is so beautiful in person and it is just not translating. But just take my word for it. This is this beautiful champagne -y gold color that just sparkles so beautifully. <laughs> Next, we're going to add a little bit of wing liner, and I'm just using my two faves, Line Stiletto from Maybelline and NYC Liquid Liner in Black. Then I'm going to prep my lashes with a little bit of Rimmel Lash Accelerator, and we're moving straight on to foundation. For this look, I'm going to use the CoverGirl 3-in-1 Outlast because it's a great drugstore foundation. I'm going to just mix the two colors on the back of my hand. And it photographs really nicely and it's really long wearing on myself and I have oily skin. So I'm just going to pop this all over my face and then blend everything out with a beauty blender. to concealer, I'm going to use the Maybelline Age Rewind in Light Pale, I believe. All that information will be listed in the bottom bar, and I always have a hard time with this thing. <laughs> so I'm going to just apply this underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my forehead, and on my chin. The great thing about this concealer is it works beautifully as a highlight as well. So after we have it in the places that we want, I'm going to again blend everything out with a beauty blender. And then here I'm just setting my under eyes with a little bit of translucent powder. Moving on, we're going to do a little bit of contouring and I'm using the Anastasia Contour Kit and the NARS Ida Brush, ITA Brush, whatever you want to call it. And I'm just going to carve out my cheekbones. <laughs> to blend everything out with my MSF in dark and also just bronze up the entire face. So I'm hitting my temples, I'm going over my cheekbones again, I'm popping a little on my chin, my forehead, and I probably drag it down my neck too. Also, I don't usually contour my nose, but I'm going to slightly just because I don't want it to disappear in pictures. color on the cheeks I'm using Milani's Dusty Rose and just popping that right onto the apples and then I'm going to take a large sibling brush and blend everything out so you know we don't have any harsh lines <laughs> We all have eyelash issues. <laughs> 
So once I get it together, I am using the Velour Lashes in Dolly Up. These are beautiful. I love them. Um, but you may want to use something with a thinner band if you are a first time lash applier. And yeah, they're a little heavy too. <laughs> So going back into our Lorac Pro palette, I'm going to pick up the color Sable and I'm just going to apply this to the outer V of my eye just to add a little more depth, dimension, and just make it a little more va va boom. <laughs> Taking this Balance Eyeliner from Sigma, which is just a brown color, we're going to run this into our waterline because black can come off a little harsh. We're also going to run this right underneath our lower lash line, take a clean pencil brush, and blend it all out. Just to balance the heaviness that the lashes are creating above. Throw a couple of coats of mascara on your bottom lashes and we're on to lips. So three options I have for you guys. The first one is a more traditional lip, so we're going to go with Milani's Nude Cream as our base for our lips, which is a really nice combo with the eye that we've got going. And we're going to top it off with Color Your Smiles Nude Gloss, which is my absolute favorite for, like I said, just that easy, traditional, smoky eye kind of, and nude lip feel. Our second lip is for that more fierce girl at prom. I'm going to use the Milani Lip in Rose Hip which is a beautiful fuchsia bright pink color. And I'm gonna top it off with Color Your Smiles Fiji Gloss. I love these two together. I think it's a great color combo. And our last lip is just Old Hollywood Glam, a nice red lip with a clear kind of sparkly gloss on top. To finish off our hair, I'm gonna start by removing all of our hair clips. My hair's been setting for about 45 minutes. The longer the better, but a good number to stick with is about 20 minutes just to give everything time to cool and set. After all your pins are out, all you want to do is finger comb your hair, which basically means just run your fingers through it, fluff it up, loosen those curls, and I'm going back in with my shaping spray and just spraying it to make sure that my curls will last the entire night. I'm then going to section off where I want my bang volume, which is about an inch or so. For this, you should be using a stronger hold hairspray. That was my mistake. I was using the same shaping spray. So then you're just going to want to tease everything, the fronts and the sides of your hair. And then it's really just about you playing with it, finagling it, moving it around, separating it, and again, spraying it in place. Try, like I said, to use a stronger hold hairspray because then you won't have to spray it as many times as I did. That is it for my prom hair and makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love this hairstyle and I hope you guys do too. So I don't think I have anything else to say except I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and until next time I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.